Hi guys. It's the life of an Englishman here. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning. Thursday morning. I thought I'd just do a quick little vlog uh, before I go out for a walk to go and get my money. I just paid my phone bill. 63 quid. That would teach me to get a late fee, wouldn't it? Um, it would have been more than that if I had if I'd got cut off because there'd be the reconnection fee on top as well. But, uh, luckily that didn't go that far. Anyway, that black and red Apollo. Sure, just got a whiff of someone's food. Anyway, that black and red Apollo suspension bike is done, dusted, up for sale. All tuned up, ready to go. Did a bit of tuning on it last night. Put the wrong type of brake levers on. I put brake levers for cantilever brakes on, not V brakes. That sort of explained why they were rather spongy. Oops. So I brought the bike back up here last night and rectified that problem. And uh, it literally just needed a bit of a tweak today. I was up on Gumtree. Probably won't sell that until like. Friday, Saturday, as usual, but it's up there, ready. Um, that old school mountain bike is there, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Took that down from Gumtree because after eight days and over 200 views and no interest, I figured it wasn't going to sell. And uh, I decided I wanted to keep it anyway. So I bought it in here, it was on the landing, I bought it in here because I wanted to fit some lights to it. You should know me by now, all my bikes I own, that I keep for myself, have lights. All of them. Not one of the bikes that I've kept for myself doesn't have lights, they all have them. Right. Hang on. Let's swap hands, it'll be a bit easier. So, here we go. There it is. I'm using a torch for a bit of extra light. So I stuck the Ever Ready lights on it. Just need batteries for the front one. Set of dynamo lights. Got that big ass Union one on the front there. So all properly earthed through the frame and properly wired up. Works fine. Worked first time actually. As the rear light, I had to put it on that side because there's no room with the rear dynamo light on there. I'm surprised no one did take it, to be honest. But then again, this sticker really does make it look ugly. And I am tempted, very tempted, to peel that Unimoto sticker off. Sort of like an orangey-red colour with a green underlay to make it look 3D. I don't mind this, that one there. I don't mind that one up there either. You know, and the Shimano gear technology and the... Highway Patrol sticker. It's just that Unimoto one looks crap. It's dusty. But uh, one of the reasons I decided to keep it in my own little collection is because, whoops, that proves reflectors work well, doesn't it? It's because it's got these brakes on it. Um, I haven't got any mountain bike with that style of brake on because they're not common. And most of the ones I have actually come across in the past have just been absolute piles of shit. That just weren't worth salvaging at all. They weren't even worth parts, some of them. But this one, being a budget brand bike, Unimoto, you know, sort of a nondescript brand, it's in extremely good condition. It's dusty. I don't know if Biggles said he someone he knew was clearing out the garage and they gave him the bike in the first place but it has got all the telltale signs of it being stored in a garage like the dust for example it is just dusty it's not dirty it's dust now my can of furniture polish wherever that's disappeared to I haven't got a clue it's gone somewhere <laughs> and the duster which I've got on the floor down here actually I'll soon clean this up. And the fact that I haven't had to um, 
fix anything on it at all. Nothing. <laughs> um, all I had to do was loosen the brakes off so I could get the wheels out to get it in the car. I then just readjust the brakes when I put the wheels back in. That is it. And I fitted the lights. Oh, and I changed the seat for a more suitable one. That is literally it. I've done absolutely nothing. Nope, teleporting. Tires were a little bit low, not flat, just a bit low, so I used the air compressor at mums and pumped the tires up. But as for repairs, nothing. Because nothing was broken on it. Yeah. I've got shed loads of this style of gear lever in the shed downstairs. <laughs> shed loads in the shed. Um, various different styles, but that style of lever, which I actually like, for the simple reason, it's not often I've, in all the years I've actually been fixing bikes, it's very rare that I've come across a broken one. So they're reliable because they're strong. And, 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 and that's pretty much the reason I like them. And they're so simple and so easy to change a cable on. Grip shifts, a lot of them are a pain in the friggin' ass to change a cable on. Uh, possible on most types of grip shifts. The only other ones it's e fairly easy on is the um, trigger shifters. But uh, I'm not fond of grip shifts anyway. But, uh, yeah, I do like this, but it's weird. I like the bike, and I don't know why. Sorry, I'm scratching because my waist is itching like a bitch at the minute. <sighs> got a universal bike frame that was given to me. It's actually got the universal frame num um, name on it. Requires the same sort of brake setup, sort of horseshoe caliper type brake. Uh, but someone's fitted an aluminium crank to it. Now, before anyone says how do I know someone fitted it, Universal is a budget brand bike like this one. Everything on this one is steel. There's no aluminium. No aluminium crank, no aluminium brakes, no al aluminium wheels or anything. It's all steel. Because obviously steel is a cheaper metal. So of course the parts are going to cost less. <laughs> um, and as Universal is, or was, I don't know if they still exist, I hope not because they were shit bikes. They like to rust. But again, it's a bike built on a budget, so what do you expect? But um, they don't use aluminium parts. And that is too much of a nice looking crank, as well as being alloy, to be an original crank on that, so someone has changed it. So I'm definitely stealing the crank off of that bike. I've stolen the pedals off of it. I stole the pedals for the Apollo. <laughs> It was the closest thing and easiest thing I had to hand that had some pedals on. And uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to bother with the universal frame. I might do, I might save it for a rainy day project when I'm bored and feel like putting a bike together, because I do have days like that. Especially if uh, I've had no bikes in to repair and sell, you know, if I've had a dry spell, as they say. I get the itch. <laughs> yeah, I might take this out tomorrow. Because I'm going to be around town. I don't... It's either going to be that one or it'll be old Claudia. Bless her. She doesn't do long distance, but she's done a hell of a lot of miles just going around town. To the shops and back. She's my little old workhorse, she is. nice to get into my shed properly so when I feel like having a change of bike I haven't got to lug a friggin 
the heavy ass door open. But it should be fixed Friday. Oh joy. And it should arrive between 8 and 9 in the morning, which means I've got to be up early. I want to be up at least 7. 7.30 at the latest. So I can actually go down there, open the door, and empty my bikes out of the shed. One, it'll give them room to work, just in case they need it. Uh, and two, there won't be any risk to my bikes being damaged either, because I've got a couple in there that are, uh, well, at least one that actually does have a good monetary value to it. But they're also valuable to me, like my Claude Butler. And that lad that borrowed my giant, every time I see him, he still tries to borrow the Claude off of me. Ain't gonna happen, I'm afraid. I can't. Out of all the bikes I've got, that's the only one that I can't loan out. Didn't really want to loan the giant out, but... been bugger all going on on Facebook. Nothing of interest to talk about anyway. <sighs> the other thing I can do Friday is hopefully buy the parts for that poxy camera because uh, it'll either be Friday or Saturday because um, PayPal is holding that payment still. Transactions been done, feedback left on both sides, so it says pending till the 16th, so I don't know if it will be like after midnight tomorrow night that it'll finally clear and go into my PayPal account, or uh, that night and, you know, give it to me to spend Saturday, I'm hoping Friday. Me. Right. Oh yeah, that's it as well. I had a look in Black Records mm, yesterday, I believe. Well, technically not yesterday, the day before now. Uh, Tuesday. And uh, he had a bunch of uh, random computer parts in a couple of boxes. Some... Uh, AGP video cards. I'm hoping he's still got them tomorrow. Oh, and some sound cards, because uh, they will be useful. As AGP video cards are getting uh, a bit awkward to get hold of now. Not as much as PCI cards. They do exist. PCI video cards do exist. Yeah. So uh, I'll have a look in there tomorrow. So I'm going to be up relatively early, maybe. I wasn't this morning, despite the heat. And I know the room temperature's cooled down because I'm actually getting cool air off that fan now, not warm air. First time, 13 minutes. Right, well, I'm going to turn the camera off. I think I'll set this going and uploading while I'm out for a walk. I like to walk around at night because there's nobody to stare at me. I know it sounds daft, but with uh, my autism, I feel like everybody is staring at me. <clears throat> and sometimes I do get paranoid. I don't feel like that every time. I just get paranoid every now and again for no reason whatsoever. Um. So I like to go around for a walk when it's quiet and sometimes get a cop or stop me and say, what are you doing out at this time? Like, I'm going for a fucking walk. What business is it of yours? Piss off. <laughs> that does annoy me when I, they do that. It's just like they're patrolling around, they're bored, they see someone, let's have a chat. No, piss off and leave me alone. Yeah. They've all been... Every time it's happened, they've been alright. Just, you know. 
checking up on you, I suppose. <sighs> right, so, thanks a lot for watching, and, uh, no doubt I'll return home tomorrow with some goodies, I hope. So, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.